Hello everybody and welcome back to another Scratch Tutorials. My name is Lena and I'm here with Ape Tech Tutorials. Today we're going to be building a song together using the music extension from Scratch. By the end of this tutorial you'll know how to build your own music and be able to use the extensions as well as learn how to animate a character. And if you're interested in that please stick around. And like always don't forget to subscribe and like us. Please leave your comments below so that we know your questions, your comments. Let's go ahead and get started with our demo. This is a beginner's uh, tutorial. It'll take about 15-30 minutes depending on your level of comfort with music instruments. Mine are zero. The guitar back there doesn't belong to me. It's my husband's. Uh, we'll get through this together. The skills you're gonna learn, you're always gonna learn how to use the uh, music extension. That's the key one. And then by animating we're gonna learn how to use the weight well, the weight and the music extension will be used together, but the other three that you see here on the screen, the motion, the controls, and the looks will be used for controlling our animation. And here are the steps that we're going to follow. Step number one, we're going to get our music extension. Step number two, we're going to pick an instrument together. And step number three, pick your song. And step number four, write your song. And by write, I mean write it in scratch. And we're not going to write it from scratch, like on paper from scratch and then step number five we're gonna test learn and fix so we're gonna test our music see if we need a modification on the gaps between notes and then we're gonna go ahead and play it again and then our bonus test is we're gonna animate a character step number one we're going to go ahead and add our music extension so the first thing you're gonna do is click on that bottom uh, icon just click and then go up here and this is our music extension it's gonna allow us to see all these different blocks that we are able to use with the music extension and uh, we're gonna see the logo of a music node step number two we're going to choose our instrument so we're gonna go to events we're gonna get our flag and make sure you guys are on the stage area for your code we're gonna put our code there and we're going to go back to our music. We're going to choose our instrument. You have 21 instruments to choose from here. I'm going with the piano because I, it's easier for me to hear the notes with the piano. Step number three, choose a song that you guys like. Make sure it's a small, simple one because uh, usually when you want to get started with this, you want something that is small and simple. I went ahead and went with this one here on the screen that says soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Um, happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, purr, purr. And this is from the Big Bang Theory. We've uh, started recently just rewatching it, so it kind of stuck to my head. Step number four create your song. So we're going to be using our piano extension from, for my choice that I chose my instrument. Uh, and you guys can change your keys depending on your instrument. But if you click on this little, I'll show you guys, but if you click on the number there it will pop out the keys for your instrument and we're just gonna follow those keys that we need from here so to choose your notes you're gonna use this play note so let's start with the first note let me go ahead and write a comment so to write a comment I'm just gonna right click here add a comment let me go ahead and add the keys that I need G space E E and then F, D, D. Oops, that's not enough. F, space, D, D. C, D, E, F, G. And then G, G, space, E, E. F, F, E, D. And C, D, E. So those are my notes I need. I'm just going to put them here so I don't have to be looking up and down. And to choose my notes, I just have to click here. 
and it'll pop up this keyboard and it moves depending on how you want it so if it's like in the piano you know as you get farther towards the right it becomes softer and more high pitch you can do that i'm gonna go with the normal which is this kind of normal so the first things first is i'm gonna go ahead and choose my letter g it's over here right there g and we're gonna add a weight and for now i'm leaving everything as default so that you guys can hear it and then we can tune it later so let me go ahead and build that and we'll get to the testing pretty soon Step number five, we're going to go ahead and test our program and then modify the values if we have to. So it, it Obviously, it doesn't sound anything like the song. So the first thing I'm going to do is make my weighting smaller. I'm going to make them all 0.25 for now. And then we're going to go from there. So modify your program. Get it tweaked to where you need it. I'm going to modify mine and try to get it to the correct all right guys so i've got it to tune I had to go and look at my old one because I wasn't getting it right. But here it here it is. So if you look at it, it's uh, basically I had to extend some of them, some of the beats to make it go like like soft, like longer, and then the shorter ones make it smaller. And my wait time I put it at 0.5 seconds. The 0.25 was way too fast. So I went again and did with 5.2. 0.5 seconds and then if you go through it this uh, basically does soft kitty warm kitty little ball of fur happy kitty um, sleepy kitty and then the purr 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 at the bottom I extended them so it went purr 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 so adding this uh, higher beat makes it long. It makes the note longer. So that's what I've noticed. And obviously the weight just waits for the waits a few seconds before they hit to the other note. And that's the basics of creating your own music, your own song. And now for the bonus step, we're gonna go ahead and add a character. I'm gonna add this cat, and then we're gonna add this code to it. The first things is we're going to go ahead and choose our character, our sprite. I'm going to go with the cat that I had in the other one. Here's the kitty cat. And make sure you guys are on the code for the cat. And you'll know that by seeing up here that it shows the cat. We're going to start with the flag. We're going to position our cat. I want him to start here when our flag starts. So you're going to go to motion. And you're going to get this here. So this block basically tells the program when I click on the flag I want my sprite to start at this location and that's okay because that's where we want him to start we don't want him to be somewhere else on the screen and not be able to see it then we're gonna go to the controls and forever we're gonna repeat the stuff inside of it inside of the forever loop we're gonna check if and then if if our program says to stop then we're gonna stop the cat so we want our cat to stop when the song finishes and to be able to do that we're going to go ahead and add a variable which apparently I already added here 
So uh, to be able to add a variable, all you do is click here on the add variables and just type your variable. I had mine a stop. It's kind of, I put it as a boolean. You decide what it is. You don't have to state that it's a boolean. You give in the value inside of it, makes it whatever you gave it. So then we're going to go ahead and check for that. If, if stop equals to false, and this can be anything you get one, then, so if we're not stopping, then I want my character to change its color effect. It changes color effect and we want it to glide around the screen motion I just random position so this here checks to make sure that our song has not stopped if our song has not stopped then it's gonna be bouncing around the screen changing colors or gliding and now the last change we have to do is in our stage in the music we have to set our variable so we're going to set our variable to true first. Well, no, false. False, because we want them to dance. And here again, false. And at the bottom of our song, we're going to set it to true. So it stops dancing when the song is over. So let's try that out. As you can see, it stops. It's just a little too slow for my taste. I'm gonna put it here uh, to be gliding at 0.75, and we're gonna try it again. So finally. I feel comfortable with that. I feel like it's good. If you guys want to get rid of the variable from your screen, just uncheck it here and it won't show when you're demoing your song. All right, guys, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make your own song and getting all creative. Uh, go ahead and do your own beats. Uh, share with me on the links below on the bottom on the comments. I'll check them out as you guys share them. I've been checking out a lot of the comments and questions you guys have. So I do get back to you. Give me some time because sometimes it takes me a little longer to get to, to the comments area. But I'll always get back to you guys. And thank you so much for uh, joining us today.